Hi there, it's Victor and Mike here. And uh, I'm just about to get ready to hit the road for this, the eighth day of my bike tour. Not in Tuscany anymore, but in Lazio, Italy. Today is probably going to be one of the longest days on this bike tour. I have about 80 kilometers to cycle to be able to reach the next campground to put me in uh, close proximity to Rome for the last day of this tour. And as usual, in the beginning of the day, I have a big climb that I have to make. I have about 300 meter elevation to be able to reach the next town, which is called Viterbo. So let's just pack up the last things here and head for the road. So I decided to follow the Eurovelo for a while and ended up on this shortcut. <laughs> I don't mind the gravel, but the gravel roads are often way hillier than the paved roads. So I have to put in some effort to get up to the next town here. Well, we just reached the outskirts of Viterbo, a big city that has maybe 70,000 inhabitants. And the traffic situation right now is pretty miserable. <laughs> I had to pull off the main road and go through this industrial area instead. So I'm, uh, I've been looking at the map and uh, I can basically just follow this road all the way through town and hopefully find the Eurovelo 5 in the middle of town again and uh, pull up on that instead because the last couple of kilometers here have been really miserable. The shoulder is maybe this wide and you got trucks pulling up ahead. They are still good at maintaining distance and uh, stopping behind you before it's safe to pass but still an uneasy feeling to have a big truck just behind you waiting to pass so hopefully this will be better but unfortunately as soon as you get into a town or a city the surface of the roads get downgraded a lot they're usually fine when you're out in the countryside but for some reason when you enter a town the roads get totally miserable as you can see here <laughs> This is a typical road in a town or a city. So you have to be alert and watch out for those potholes and cracks in the road.
So I told you yesterday that taking off my shoes and putting on my slippers was probably my favorite moment of the whole day. But it can compete with this. Just sitting down in a nice park and having a lunch and getting away from the bustling traffic. That's also one of my maybe top three moments of the day. As I've told you many times before, I usually don't buy water at the supermarket. Instead, I use the available fountains that I can find. And I just saw one back here as well. But when it comes to lunch, I usually like to spoil myself with some carbonated water. So I'm gonna enjoy this now for lunch. So I took the Eurovelo getting out of Viterbo to stay away from the heavy traffic and then I stumbled upon this. It's like I'm cycling through a cave. <laughs> Well, you know how I keep telling you that this day is probably the best day of the whole trip. Well, this day is probably the worst day of the whole trip so far. <laughs> Either you go along these gravel roads where you can go maybe five kilometers an hour, totally super bumpy, basically the Via Francesca hiking trail, or when you get tired of those, you head on to the main car road and you're basically holding on to your bike for dear life because uh, you have cars sipping by you at about 90 km an hour. Don't get me wrong, I really love making these videos, but I'd rather make it home to see my kids than getting hit by a car. So hopefully I'm able to go off this road and take a smaller one just up ahead here. After that, maybe in 10-15 kilometers, I'm gonna turn off this road and head down to a lake where I'm planning on staying at a campground.
some nice roads and the traffic seems to have uh, died down a bit as well. I'm finally getting close to my campground for the evening. I'm just going downhill for maybe three or four kilometers and uh, then I'm then I'm there. <laughs> this has been a super long day, but sometimes bike touring is like this type two fun. I'm probably gonna appreciate it a lot more when I get home and start editing all these videos ev that even days like this seems wonderful where the sun is shining and I have a blue lake waiting for me when I go down this hill So I've reached the campground now and uh, yeah, it's funny when you look on uh, different campgrounds web pages and you see this lovely green grass and when you finally get there, you're met with this. And this is still one of the better spots here on the campground because I've been walking around trying to find a nice flat space. But I'm so beat that it doesn't matter. I'm probably just gonna go to bed early tonight and uh, get up really, really early in the morning because I have the last stage of my tour and I wanna get into Rome around lunch or so so that I have time to go and see some uh, sights in Rome. Join me next week as I make my way to the end destination of this bike tour, Rome. Until then, have a good one.